just got a reminder card that I am supposed to visit my dentist for my six-month teeth cleaning. Congratulations. I always like going to a dentist. You are a dentist. What can I say? I like myself. That is so nice. So let me ask you something. Six months. Who came up with six months? Why are we all supposed to go in for cleaning every six months? There is no hard and fast rule that everybody needs a cleaning every six months. Great. So what's the longest I can wait between office cleanings? How much do you like your teeth? Actually, I'm pretty fond of them. They have grown on me. Six months is about the maximum most people can go between cleanings if they want healthy teeth and gums that look really good. I'm all about looking good and staying healthy. Now some people actually need to go more often, maybe every few months, if they tend to get cavities. Or if they want their teeth looking really good. That's right. So why do some people tend to get cavities more than others? Essentially, it comes down to dental plaque. Dental plaque. I should have known. That old dental plaque, always a problem. Oh, one thing. What is dental plaque? Dental plaque is actually a mix of sugar, protein and mucus that forms on your teeth. Are you kidding? Dental plaque forms in your mouth, soon after eating any type of carbohydrates. Like sugar? Sugar is the worst. The plaque itself isn't a problem for teeth. The real problem is the bacteria that grow in plaque, which will cause cavities. That's why dentists really don't want to see eating sugar. Exactly, but there are several factors that contribute to tooth decay and gum disease. Like what? How healthy are your teeth to begin with, and how well does your body fight infection and cavities? Hadn't thought about that. Another factor is the type of bacteria that are in your mouth. Some people have more of the kind of bacteria that cause decay and gum disease. I cannot really control the natural condition of my teeth. Nor can you control the type of bacteria in your mouth. Bummer. Any other factors? Saliva. Saliva? Yucky. Not yucky, needed. It protects your teeth cavities. Have I mentioned how much I love saliva? The saliva and enzymes it contains help fight cavities. That is fantastic. But some people have too little saliva. These can be people who breathe mostly through their mouths or who are on certain medications. They lose the protection of this saliva and have much more tooth decay and inflammation in their gums. So they have to take especially good care of their teeth. Which leads us to the final main factor. How well you brush and floss your teeth. Again, this is entirely in your control. Do you routinely floss and scrub the plaque and bacteria off your teeth? Or, do you let it build up? And do you go in regularly for office cleanings to get your teeth sparkling clean? Exactly right. Since no two people have the same health condition, someone may need to go every six months. Others may need to go more often. I think of it like getting a haircut. It's refreshing. Your dentist will consider all the factors when they tell you how often to come in. I probably should listen. That's what I would do. You're the dentist. I like to listen to myself. What can I say I'm an interesting person?